Hey guys, uh, good morning. So this will be our second video from our applied auto list series. So we call this uh, Excel to AutoCAD auto list. Mm. This program will uh, get or retrieve data from Excel and we will process it and then we will draw a line this is used in the survey when you have uh, x and y coordinates or topographic survey so this is uh, useful for the surveyor so this is also a request from our uh, friend in facebook so this is one of, this is one of the requests but i uh, I think this is the easiest and uh, the smallest one, so I, I created this first. So let's get started. So this is this is the version, guys. This is the version one, uh, seventeen. <coughs> uh, the program demonstrate to get data from Excel and draw the line based on that data. Okay, so we will create our. Uh, I will make this, guys. I'm very fast. Okay, I will. This is our commands. Get cell. This is the functions. So we will load our uh, ActiveX uh, extension. Oh, this is our error handler, and now this is our uh, this is the code to get the file Excel file. Okay, to open a file uh, Excel file, and this is our variable. This will pass the uh, the output of, of this is file name of our selected excel so that file name will be stored here and also the range the range guys is uh, uh, this is my example here it's on my coordinates the range is this one so for example a2 to uh, b710 so this is the range so this is the most important one when we will we will use the program we have to be, uh, input the correct the correct uh, uh, range because if we did not uh, input it will generate a wrong drawing or wrong value or an error so this is the function that will uh, get get cell function this this function will get the uh, this is the responsible uh, of getting the the data from the excel solo Let's go there. So here we pass file name and range. Okay, this one guys will let the user enter the range that he wants to get the data from. Okay, so that range will be passed here, and also the file name will pass will be passed here, and then we go here. We initialize the coordinates. Co coordinate. Okay. Container iterator also another uh, error handler here. So this will this one guys will open the application. This will get or create an uh, <coughs> application Excel application. This one here and this is this if this one will test if this is <coughs> this property visible or put it in a visible. And then property <clears throat> and then next guys is catch we will open a workbook okay workbook of that file of, of the file name that we uh, supplied this one and Second is the we will get the the worksheet. Uh, this one here, the worksheet. Okay, and we will let it uh, the active one. Okay, this will let that to be active, and then second is now we will get 
the range. Now, this is time that we will get the the range that we supplied. For example, we supplied uh, A2 to B17. So, we will, this one will get the the range and the range name here. And then after that, we this one will get the value from that range and be stored here okay and then we initialized a list variable temporary this, this we will use this to store our pro, uh, value coordinates and then uh, we will get one by one the coordinates from the range that we supplied okay first coordinates this one will get the value this one goes this is the first the x coordinates and this one guys is the six, uh, the y, y coordinates okay and this one guys it this will uh, get the variant value because that 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 variable is a variant so we get that as a variant bar, a value and so this guys will only test if the x and y coordinates are available if, because if it's not it will go to the under to the other to the next items if it does then it will uh, finally get the the value of that coordinate x and y coordinates so uh, it will join okay guys this guy this one and this will be concatenated and they will be one value okay so unseparated by comma okay and then next is it will loop again to the another coordinates and the same process guys it will process it get the value and join together the next next until it's done and then all the coordinates will be stored in the coordinates list all right so after that we reverse the 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 coordinates because this one will is the value of this is after the loop this will is start at the end coordinates so we will reverse it so it will start at the beginning of the coordinates so after that the value will be stored here and finally this guy here will do the drawing it will draw the the line okay and it will print successfully and the program will end so let's try now so so what we have here is uh, coordinates so I will open the AutoCAD I'll open the AutoCAD now and then we will try to get this value okay so get cell get cell and then we will try to open that this is the, the name right so this is the file name we will try to open that one okay so I will I will just make this a little bit smaller <clears throat> so since that we want this guy here a2 and this one b17 so we will input that there b17 so the way you input it is a2 to b17 right okay so this is it this is now the the line okay so we'll try to make other lines so let's say i want to make a, a horizontal line okay so i will just make this a all zero i want to i will save and of course in actual uh, job guys uh, your your server will provide you the data 
and just import it in the Excel and just try to select it okay so get cell uh, latitude and longitude or what do you, what do you call that uh, <coughs> how do you call that in survey uh, the departure right? easting and northing and easting right okay uh, if, if, if that is the correct term so we'll open that one and <coughs> let's try to load again the uh, b710 okay so so this time it created a line with horizontal uh, this one is supposed to be this one is uh, not a zero right so another let's say if i want we want to create uh just we just we'll just put in here something here okay and this one here and then uh, with this uh, random number guys okay number number one just wait here just wait for it okay so we save this one and we will try to we will try to um, get this one a12 a822 B twenty seven right no oh no no it's a file first it's the file A two to B twenty seven so it will generate a random line <laughs> but this is the concept guys of course so that's it so if you want this guys just comment down below your email and don't forget to of course uh, subscribe uh, we'll, we will not be sending this if you don't sub subscribe <laughs>